Hi everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So if you haven't been here before then my name is Beth and I work as a seamstress but I make like knitting, crochet, all sorts of craft content here and on Instagram and TikTok. So today's video is just going to be the kind of wrap up for the month of September. If you've seen sort of knitting podcasts before you probably know the drill just going through like the sort of finished projects, whips, and then any acquisitions that I have had this month that are somewhat craft related. I feel like I actually managed to get so much done this month. Um, I don't even know why. I think like at work I just had, or like I just had more free time um, to knit this month than usual. So this is definitely more than I think I've made in any like previous months, but yeah it's just been quite slow at work like i've worked through the like repairs and alterations that we've had coming in quicker than they're coming in essentially so there's just been a lot of sort of like hour slots that i'm just sort of sat knitting when i like would normally not be so yeah i guess we'll just get straight into it so just starting off with what i'm wearing because i did show this in the last what was it the august podcast so this is my drops air jumper i should say as well unless i say otherwise these are all my own patterns there's only one thing that isn't but i made this well i started making this while i was in denmark in august and i did include it in the last video but that was filmed at the very start of september and i don't think i had blocked it or weaved in the ends or anything so this is the finished um piece so yeah like i said this is just knit up in drops air i can't remember exactly what the colorway is but it's it's not like a flat color like i don't know if you can see it's got so many different shades of like pink running through it there's like lighter pinks more like purpley pinks more orange so i think it gives it a really nice like overall look um i think probably be a good idea if i show you the back so it's got like a european um shoulder which i think is so hard to show because it's like a weird angle but yeah that i wanted to try something new with this piece and the idea was just like just wanted something to throw on like nothing really too extravagant like it's just quite a simple um stocking at piece and it's only got like these little thin bands of ribbing as the cuffs and it's the same on the bottom hem um it's just got these points here for the neckline and yeah this yarn is so soft like this was an absolute joy to knit and i have seen people saying that this yarn is quite bad for like pilling over time and like maybe doesn't hold up the best but honestly i love it i'm happy with it the only thing that I would consider changing, and maybe I will eventually, but not anytime soon, is maybe just making these sleeves a little bit longer. So they're not like awful at the minute. I did block these longer, but I just think like, so I bought nine balls of this and I only used seven. So I just think like, if I have the spare, maybe I will make them a little bit longer just so that they kind of come further down like towards my knuckles but that's not really um anything crazy so yeah this was my first finished piece this month but I did knit the, the majority of it in August I also have like making vlogs up for I think all of these pieces um if you're interested in seeing more of like the actual process of them this next one I I'm kind of counting it as a finished piece, although it is technically not. I don't know what I was thinking with all of the pinks this month, but basically, so this is the Drops Alpaca. So basically Drops has had like two sales in the last like two months. One of them was like, I think it was like fan favorites. And then the second one was like alpaca specific. So both of these, well, obviously this is 100% alpaca, but this is alpaca as well. Um, although this is a blow yarn. So like, I don't really think you can see it too much in like a finished garment but basically it's like a kind of like a chain like tube and then they like 
below fibers through it so i can't remember exactly what the composition of it is but it's some there is some sort of synthetic in here but i had originally ordered the drops alpaca in a different pink and i wasn't a huge fan of it so i ordered the dark pink but i was still on a hunt for a light pink and that's where this one came from so i actually bought this yarn first i believe but knitted this one first because I wanted to take something really easy to travel with. I didn't want to take anything really complicated. But anyway, we'll get into the design. So I have had an idea literally living in my head like rent free for like the past couple of months. I basically wanted to make a jumper that had like really big slits up the side and then like long ties. And then you could like tie them into a bow to like fasten the side shut, if that makes sense. So anyway... This is where it's at so far. I'm saying that this is a finished piece because technically the actual jumper portion of this is done. I'm just still knitting the straps because it's a bit boring. <laughs> like just knitting the straps, I get easily carried on to the next project. This is a raglan top and it's all of the rib is um, one by one. Same, well, this is one by one as well, but this is what the jumper looks like. This has been blocked as well. So yeah, it's just got a raglan top. It's got German short row shaping up here. I, it's also like got quite a big neckline, but it's not like a turtleneck. It kind of sits further down, um, if that makes any sense. And then, which was the whole point of this, it's got these huge slits up the side with these double knit like borders i guess so yeah this is just kind of what it looks like up close i feel like this is a tricky one to show you when it's not on if i can i'll try and like insert something of it on if not we might have to wait for another video or instagram i always post photos of things on instagram but anyway so yeah, this is how it's looking. It's the same on both sides. So I knit the top in the round, split for the body and sleeves, knit the sleeves, knit like a tiny bit of length on the body in the round, just so that this wasn't right up in your armpit. And then basically had to knit the front and then the back separately, back and forth, which obviously is annoying for the stockinette but obviously with the rib like it's the same on every row anyway so it didn't feel too bad but this is held double so this is two strands of the alpaca knit on four millimeter needles i just liked i honestly just liked how the gauge looked more than with a bigger needle i liked how tight it was and i was conscious as well that like alpaca tends to stretch a little bit over time um it just sort of like drapes it doesn't hold its shape as well as like a wool would so i didn't want to knit something on an already what i thought was a loose gauge just for it to end up like progressively getting looser and looser yeah this is what we came up with and then the rib is on three millimeters and so is the double knit which honestly <sighs> It is a bit of a long-winded process because there's obviously the four on the body and then there's the four straps that I need to knit separately which I guess I'll show you. This is just where I'm at with this is the first one so I think I'm gonna knit maybe like I don't know whether to knit more or to just like block this out like loads but this is just again a double knit strand although I am doing these in four millimeters because my hand just couldn't take the free anymore. This yarn is recommended on a three millimeter needle held single. So holding it double and doing double knit in the rib was a little bit tough on the old hands, but not nothing like crazy. But yeah, so if you can imagine, okay, this is coming from the side and then there'll, there'll be like two on either side and then they'll like tie into the bows let me see if i can hold this up together it will kind of be like <laughs> like this but um obviously with another one on here and then another two on the other side of the jumper so 
yeah this actual jumper is done you could just wear it like this with the huge slits um but obviously yeah i'm just working on those pieces overall like i am happy with this i feel like if i was to knit this idea again i would maybe do it a little bit differently um firstly i feel like i wouldn't do it as a raglan i'd probably do it as some sort of drop shoulder or set in sleeve I when I cast this on I was honestly just craving like just working on something really like just really mindless and because I knew I was going to be knitting like the body portion of it back and forth in my head I was like if I do a raglan then more of it is in the round right so it's just like more fun to work on so that was where that thought process was and then the other thing I would maybe do is I'd maybe like the body to be like a little bit longer. I feel like, should I just put this on? I'm just going to put this on. Okay, so I feel like this literally would have solved all my problems if I just literally put this on first. But this is what it looks like on. So yeah, you can kind of see what I meant with the neck. Like it kind of, part of it is like up on your neck, but then it's just sort of comes down really nicely like you can see the german short rows like here and to the back um i did when i blocked this like stretch the sleeves a little bit but they're not like massively oversized and then yeah here's the slits so i kind of yeah maybe wish that it was just like a smidge longer but it's not like by any means short and then this is what it will be like on the sides. So I hope that this helps if you're struggling to visualize the, um, the vision, I don't know. But yeah, when I blocked this, like before I blocked this, this was coming in so much, like the same on the back because obviously the rib was like, and it looked really, really strange. So I did make an effort to really like stretch this in width so that it lays like kind of flatter at the front um yeah i am happy with this i just think that i always like let me sit down every time i like finish a new design there's always something that i would say like oh, i should have done that differently or that's just i think part of learning and like that's not to say that this is like not a piece that i'm happy with i really love the color and it's definitely like definitely learned a lot from it i just yeah i am my own hardest or harshest critic whatever you want to say um and yeah i would just maybe do a couple different things i do think that the double knit borders on the slits do look really nice though like i was definitely a little bit stumped on like what i was gonna do in respect to, like those bits to finish it off because i feel like i w basically i wanted like the width of the borders to match the straps so like i was torn between doing double knitting and like an eye cord but I thought if I do an eye cord edge, I kind of need to do an eye cord strap. And I kind of wanted the straps to be like really chunky. Like I'll see if I can sort of tie. I feel like you can hardly see this at all. Obviously the bows will be bigger, but I just love how much, like how substantial like these sort of straps are in kind of size. I feel like an eye cord would have maybe got like a little bit lost because this is a bit of like a thicker like jumper i also have not these are the only ends i haven't weaved in though um but yeah i feel like there's not too much more to say about this one um i did enjoy knitting it but i think because i had so much free time or like time this month that i couldn't do anything but knit like say at work for example it definitely just forced me to sit and work on it like especially when i was going back and forth or like when i was doing the double knit edges i was just sat there doing it like i get no phone signal at work nothing else like I'm not gonna sit there and load up like something to watch because that's just like a bit unprofessional being sat at the front of a shop and like just being on your phone or whatever but 
yeah obviously working on this like it was quite nice it was quite like a conversation starter with like customers that would come in and stuff and yeah i feel like this color like kind of suits me as well like i'm honestly low-key loving the pinks it's funny like i own no other pink but like my hair's literally pink but anyway i feel like i have said enough on this one um i'm obviously hoping this month that i will be able to finish all of these straps i feel like i need to do the same thing and just to only take this to work with me so like on my lunch breaks these are all i can knit because do you know what it is with this first one is i just don't know how long to make it and i feel like once i cast this one off the other ones won't be so bad because i'll already have like a bit of a a bit of a guide on like how long to make them but i don't know let me know your thoughts on this one because i still love this idea i just feel like maybe my issue is execution um but yeah i don't know let me know what you think anyway so the next finished Gar mm, no this isn't a garment the next finished thing that i have is actually an accessory so i i have so many scraps like so much scrap yarn i've been knitting for well knitting and crocheting punch needle and everything for years and i have like a whole massive box of just scrap yarn so i'm trying to use it up and i never ever make accessories i think like coming from doing like a fashion design degree and like it was clothes my head just always goes straight to like clothes but i do love accessories and i love like little matching sets so i'm trying to use up as much as i can and like maybe just do some little like pattern bundles of just like accessories basically so the first one is this scarf so this yarn is the what is this the cotton blend from hobbycraft so it's actually mixed with acrylic which i don't use anymore really so i don't i didn't really mind using this as an accessory because i will say okay this yarn is really really soft but i didn't have enough to make a garment in and i had some of the red and so yeah we just made a scarf this is obviously just made of granny squares. Um, I'm also currently putting my granny square jacket into testing. So I feel like I was feeling a bit inspired, but let me stand up. This is like super um, long. I really like to like wrap my scarves or to like wear them like this. And the plan is I wanna make some matching mittens. Cause yeah, I do still have some of, well, I have loads of the red left. Um, but I do also have some of the black and white and I feel like a pair of gloves or mittens will just use up like the annoying lengths that I have left because what I'll probably do is like do one on each hand like alternating colours so that I use them like evenly and then if I don't have enough for full mittens I'll just have like fingerless gloves and that's still absolutely fine and then I have a really cute little matching set and yeah maybe write up like a pattern for them to go together but yeah I feel like this is cute maybe not with this color wise um but yeah I feel like yeah there's just I feel like there's not too much to say about like accessories or like granny squares the only thing I would love to make another one of these in like really chunky yarn um like yeah just so that it I don't know doesn't sort of go so skinny like not that this is skinny i don't know i think i do just love like a really like thick chunky scarf but that's just purely personal preference like this will still serve its purpose but this is honestly just a bit of a random one so quick as well like i feel like i can make granny squares at a ridiculous rate um it's just the weaving in the ends that i not the biggest fan of yeah i think these three bits are really the only completely finished bits this month i am just going to keep this jump on now for the remainder of the video um so yeah i guess on to some whips so if you follow along on the vlogs you may already know i am making my boyfriend a jumper for christmas i made him one a couple of years ago but that was just in acrylic and it was drop shoulder and there was no shaping and yeah so when we was in denmark 
he picked out some yarn that he wanted me to use. So we are using the Let Lopey yarn, which this is rustic. If you're sensitive, do not use this. I will say it has grown on me. So let me show you the piece first. We are doing an all over two by two rib raglan jumper. So this is how it's coming out so far. I'm sorry about the tapping. It's all of the needles and um, stoppers that I've got hanging out of this. But yeah, this is how she is looking currently. I guess I should say how he is looking. Um, but yeah, I really love the colour of this. I think this is such a nice navy. It's almost like quite a denim -y kind of navy. I don't know if that makes sense. But I'm really happy about this is coming out so far. So this just is going to have one by one rib on the collar, the cuffs and the hem. And then, yeah, obviously the rest is going to be two by two. This is quite similar to a piece that I made myself. Um, I'll try and put a photo on the screen. Apart from that, that was more like continuous from the raglan. There's no sort of separate edges. Whereas like this one, I think looks like it actually has separate edges like with the different ribs and this one's just got the german short row shaping around the top you can see um the front neck fits further down and basically this is my lifeline so everything from here upwards has been blocked if you're wondering why it's sitting so flat already and then yeah the bottom bit is just how much further i've knit because i've just split for the body and sleeves but i want him to try it on before i keep going because i'm worried that these are gonna sit like too far up in his armpit um i don't make men's clothes so this is a little bit of like every five minutes i'm like can you come around and try a jumper on because i don't know if it's gonna fit you and like no one in my house like my stepdad and my brother do not have the same build or are not the same size as my boyfriend so it's actually no help um but yeah i'm really happy with how this looks so far i think that the two by two rib looks really nice actually and yeah this yarn though hurts to knit with like after a little while i feel like i'm gonna start getting friction burns like on like because i tension my finger like the yarn on my finger and sometimes i like actually have to stop so i kind of knit on this sporadically but i basically wanted the yoke of this jumper done in september i'm trying to spread my gift knits across the month so that i'm not like left with like loads at the end but yeah i'm happy with this it's another raglan i love knitting raglans it's my absolute favorite type of jumper to knit which is annoying because i love how a drop shoulder looks but just knitting in the round just always on the front side which for this really doesn't apply because it's ribbed so even if it was the back it's still knit too pearl too but anyway i just really love how easy it is to try on when you get to where you want to split for sleeves and you've not got like because the other whip I'll show you, it, is, it isn't a raglan. And I hate like when you're trying to try things on and like your armholes are rolling and like your front's rolling. And yeah, you can you can tell it gives me struggles. But um, he really likes it so far. Obviously, he knows he's getting this. He asked for it. He picked out the yarn. He's trying it on at every point. But um, it's just so cute. I just, yeah, I don't know. It looks nice and i think i like as well that it looks different to the one that i made for myself so yeah this is going to be an ongoing whip honestly um could be all the way up until december if he tries this on and it's good so far i am just going to try and knit on it like as much as possible um but this may feature in another couple more of these videos because i get too carried away with things i want to make for me so these next ones are the only thing i followed a pattern for as i said at the beginning of the video these are a pair of penny gloves by petite knit these are still a whip because i i only have to knit the little thumb portion so it's really not a lot um i'm not gonna say who these are for um just in case 
these are a gift knit for Christmas. I need to knit another two pairs. I've got, if you watched my Denmark yarn haul, this is the Filikalana Alva um, held double, which is the recommended yarn for this pattern. I have got two other colours. I've got a navy and I've got pink, which are also going to be gift knits. But I was going to do penny gloves for all three. I've already knit this pattern before twice in this exact colourway um for some of my boyfriend's relatives but i'm kind of considering for the next two pairs of gloves to maybe just make my own pattern like maybe something with a bit more of a design on them or something just to change it up for me so i'm not knitting the same thing over and over again that being said i had to travel to manchester this week for work and it's like a four hour maybe a little bit longer a train journey well it's a longer journey but like actually being sat on a train it's like around four hours I knit this whole glove basically apart from like a little bit on one day and I mean I went to Manchester on Monday came back Wednesday afternoon and these were all completely done and obviously I was working through the days um so yeah these you could probably if you wanted to like knit a glove a day maybe even in an evening or something so they are a really quick project and I do really like the fit of these <laughs> like obviously these aren't for myself but I do want to make some obviously I said about the mittens for that last one but my boyfriend also so he went to Denmark last year and I went with him this year but last year he bought me some of the Isaya Eco Melange I think he bought me like three of the little balls and I didn't know for the longest time what to make them with but I'm considering making some of my own design gloves or variations but yeah there's not too much to say with these I just need to do the thumbs but they're quick they're simple they're fun um I think they're a great gift knit personally because they are just they really just don't eat into your time that much um especially like if you need any last minute ideas I would recommend these i also do quite like the feeling of this yarn oh i should say actually the first two pairs i knit these gloves in i knit on wooden dpns i think these are knit on three millimeter needles i knit these ones using metal circulars using magic loop oh my god i'm gonna die on the magic loop hill okay i know people don't like magic loop for whatever reason but it's the same okay the next the next one is the same i feel like i get really bad ladders when i use um dpns and also the wooden ones i feel like i'm gonna snap them so easily but i don't want to use metal ones because then i feel like the stitches will slide off because there's no back to them and yeah i feel like my tension for these has increased so much like it's so much better than the first pairs that I made because of how I knit them um so yeah I love the metal magic loops which is funny because I normally use wooden needles for my bigger projects and I do prefer them for bigger things but anything from a small like a three and smaller I'm going to be using metals that's just how it is now unfortunately so yeah not too much left to do there'll be some more gloves coming in future videos okay this next one like i just mentioned um, i don't know if you count this as a finished project or a whip or not i guess i could have mentioned it before these have been a little bit of an ongoing project but i finished my first vanilla sock which looks so ridiculous right now because i have not blocked it so okay this is using the opal yarn this is what i have left of the ball so obviously i do need to knit the other sock but this is using the summerly sock project book and this is the really basic sock heel flap and gusset obviously i hadn't knit socks before so i feel like i've done a pretty good job but okay let me let me see if you can see this so i basically knit the top portion of this on dpns can you see yeah you can see okay so that's obviously where the edge of it was plus like the side ones i don't know if you can see it so badly no you can on the back yeah so anyway i knit the top on the dpns then when i got to the heel i split two 
magic loop this was all magic loop and then yeah the rest was and obviously you can still kind of see a little bit on the sides but nowhere near as much and I am hoping that once I wash and block these that this will level out but these have been on the needles for a little while I took these to Denmark with me um and then basically didn't touch them because I broke my needle I got new DPNs and then I was getting a bit sick of the DPNs and then yeah when I once I had the magic loop I just literally knit the whole thing this fits my foot perfectly I actually cannot believe how well I managed to get this to fit um that was the main thing that I was worried about but I mean I'm not going to show you so you're just going to have to like take my word for it but yeah I have found the summerly pattern to be quite easy to follow there's been a few things that have tripped me up but honestly it's my own fault like <laughs> so on the back heel right when you do like the slip stitches so on the knit side you like slip knit slip knit and on the back you're meant to slip one and then pull the whole rest of the row but like I didn't clock that there wasn't a bracket so like I basically was doing slip pearl slip pearl and for the longest time I kept getting the heel wrong it was only when people on Instagram told me what I was doing wrong but like silly mistakes like that like that is for sure my own fault um but yeah this is just how she's looking like you can see like my tension so much better down here this was the magic loop and then obviously you just kit kitchener stitched the toe together so this is how it wants to sit because this is how it's knit technically so yeah this is my very first vanilla sock and obviously i need to um knit the second one so that's why i'm calling this whip because although this one is finished i can't just wear one sock so this next whip this is the last whip yeah okay this is the last whip. I literally cast this on like two evenings ago. I technically don't think that this is actually, that I did this in September. It's currently October 4th. So you have to forgive me, but I thought I'd show it anyway. So I, last year or the year before, I can't even remember now, We Are Knitters gifted me some of their petite wool. Um, so this is what it looks like. This is the Colorway Colorado. Um, it's quite chunky and basically this is four millimetres, that jump was four millimetres, the, the blue one for my boyfriend, the socks are 2.25, the gloves were a three and I was literally like I just want something chunky with like a bit quicker of like a satisfaction of finishing a whip and obviously I'm trying to use up as much stash on as possible. So I casted this on literally Mm, not last night the night before but obviously I have been working so yeah I literally casted this on when I got back from Manchester it's on Wednesday night it's currently Friday morning so this is how far I've got with it so it really doesn't look like too much currently but this is what I mean with the curling when you don't knit things as a raglan so basically this is going to be some sort of cardigan jacket thing this yarn is actually quite soft and I but I live in this thing right my hoodie I literally I love it to death and I I have learned about myself I love being comfortable like I love wearing things that make me feel comfortable that are comfortable to wear like I feel like any time around the house I'm literally in like big oversized t-shirt joggers pretty much so I basically just wanted to make something that was like no stress just throw it on kind of like that pink one but obviously yeah like a, a cardigan -y kind of version and it does get a little bit cold in here like it, in the winter like as it gets like as it gets colder it gets colder like yeah obviously but like I don't know if you can see like my fireplace is like an actual working fireplace obviously I do not use it because that would set my whole bed on fire but I sit down here to do like my makeup and my hair whatever and the draft comes in like under the door and like comes under the bed like obviously because of the fireplace and yeah what I'm saying is this room can get cold so this I think is just going to be really nice to just 
wear around the house and yeah just be really cozy this is literally just over one ball of yarn so i feel like the yarn's going quite far so i also wanted to try out a few new things with this one because I don't feel as precious with it because it's chunky if I need to rip back it does not take as long as say like in a four millimeter right so I feel like I've been able to like experiment a little bit more and just trial some new things so basically it's got short row shaping in the back and on the front pieces here so knit started at the back knit down picked up on the shoulders have knit forward obviously done the neckline shaping i've also this is also quite a deep neckline but i wanted to have quite a chunky collar because this is quite a chunky yarn i feel like chunky features are going to be cute and then i'm going to do a double knit button band up the front and i really want to get buttons to match this like gray blue kind of color running through it because i think that would just be a really nice contrast like on the white base so yeah really not much to say about this one so far she's not far along yeah obviously i've connected under the arms this is how far we are currently so just going to be knitting and stocking it for a little bit longer so before we move on to the acquisitions because i've somehow ended up with a couple even though i'm meant to be on a yarn ban um i thought i'd quickly show you some swatches that i have done for kind of upcoming pieces because these will these will probably be what's in the october podcast um so yeah if you follow me on instagram you might have already seen that i shared a photo of these but i will just we'll just cover them here so obviously the first one was for what i'm currently working on so that's not massively interesting this one so i have decided that i'm going to re-knit my cable jumper for hobby that i made them last year in the friends wall because the original sample that i knit was in a superwash and um it gave me a whole lot of drama as i'm not gonna get into it again because i've spoken about this so many times now it just grew okay it just grew too much so this is the friends wall so this is a sample of of what some of the pattern is going to look like so yeah it's just got like the big cable the eyelets and then um this basically is the same as like uh the gray cable cardigan i made last month no not last month was it last month yeah it must have been and also yeah obviously the original sample of this jumper so this is in the color I want to say this is in the color too like the off-white um but yeah obviously so the original sample that i made was in two strands of the extra fine merino with one strand of the mohair this is just going to be in one strand of the wall so because it's at a different gauge i do need to re basically calculate everything but ideally it's going to look the same at the end so yeah it would just kind of this will sit sort of like here-ish on the body so i do want to get to that soon um however i guess i'll quickly interject here so obviously i am writing this well i'm making this with the intention of writing the pattern for hobby okay um but before i jump into basically trying to grade a really complicated cable jumper i want to try and get a stockinette piece into testing so i would love to know if you have seen any of my other pieces um if there's anything in particular that i have made that in stockinette that um basically there would be demand for a pattern because obviously so my granny square jacket is just about to go into testing and i've obviously i've released um crocheted patterns before but they're just different to knit and yeah i want to get into the habit of writing in sort of like the knit terminology and everything and the grading and just the stitches and stuff so yeah if there's anything if there's any patterns that you would like to see from me please please let me know you can either comment or message me on instagram or anything like that but yeah that was just a quick little segue so the next swatch is not very interesting she's just a charcoal gray i want to make a little like 
have you seen like the henley jumpers that are going around so they have like the little button band but i kind of want to make like a little button black band and collar so more like a long sleeve polo-esque jumper that's the plan for this i was gonna make a, a towel a, a v-neck but i don't know why i really love the idea of that and so this is one strand drops flora and then two random cones of yarn that i have and if i i reckon i will still have left over on the cones so realistically i can just buy more gray yarn and use it for something else i'm thinking maybe if i can doing the little collared henleys like this would be what it looks like or the collared polo or whatever and then maybe making a v-neck vest because i don't have any sweater vests and i think this would be just a nice basic like it's literally charcoal like you can't go wrong lastly this is the drops brushed alpaca silk so this is what the sample looks like so this is just a sort of like lace stitch um i have never knit anything lace before the closest i've got to is these eyelets which is not a lot but i am essentially planning to make like a little cute cardigan with this this is so soft like oh my god if you don't like mohair this is a great alternative the only problem is it is a different gauge so you might have to play around with like what you hold it with but this is knit on five millimeter needles that's what it's recommended as and yeah i'm excited for this um again i guess if i get to this this month you'll see more of it so i feel like that's all of the all of the whips and everything that i have done this month hey now we're on something really fun so after coming back from denmark i put myself on a yarn ban which i think was sensible because damage was done and also like i have so much stuff like i have so many materials like i have so many boxes of fabric i have so many cones of yarn and it's just excessive like i really hate the feeling of having loads of clutter and just having things set around so as much as it was like financially it was also just like i have any more fucking room to like keep anything but let me just say so i have never used noro yarns before and i have been eyeing up the noro madara in sake for so long it's been sold out in the uk for like over a year you can't get it anyway I woke up one morning and my boyfriend was still asleep and so I just started scrolling on my phone and I ended up down this rabbit hole of like looking at Nora yarns. Anyway, there was a link for Etsy and this woman had it on Etsy. I was like, oh my God. And she only like, there was only like one listed and I messaged her like, do you just have the one or do you have more? And she's like, no, I have like 20. I was like, oh my God. Like I'd always told myself this was the one thing that if I found it, I would just buy it because when would I ever get the opportunity again? And also like, I've been thinking about this for so long that it's not just like an impulse buy. So anyway, she's like, no, I have loads. I was like, okay, okay. Anyway, added to my basket, it was from Australia. So I live in the UK, if you don't know. And yes, I did pay to get this shipped here from Australia, but so excited so i bought seven of these um yes this was expensive i will say basically i think i only need six for a jumper but i thought basically if i bought one more i was still in the bracket like the cost bracket to like not pay extra customs so like i think if you order things into the uk i think you can have up to a value of like 135 pound before we get hit with customs and so i just thought you know what i'll buy seven to be safe and i will probably have more than one of these left over i'll probably have one in a bit and then i can make something like a really lovely like accessory and also like if i did run out and i couldn't get it again that's game over so yeah i did order seven of these so this is what it looks like you can just see all of the various colors and just different amazing things going on inside this yarn i think what i really love about this particular colorway is that all of these colors are on such a neutral base so i am planning on making a jumper with this 
so yeah if we just if you can like envision so it's like there's so much going on but it is also a neutral in my mind i was worried that this was going to be more rustic than it is like having heard what people say about nora maybe it was a different base i'm not sure but this does feel to me at least soft i feel like maybe i have a higher tolerance um for yarns but like the like this let loopy this is way more rustic than the noro or at least the madara um i will say though actually i didn't mention this does soften up after blocking but not to the point that it's not rustic so yeah this is like such a dream come true for me like you actually don't understand i'm so excited i don't know if i'll cast on with this very soon because i want to be dead set in what i'm making with it i don't just want to make any old thing i really want to have properly thought out um exactly what i'm doing and yeah just not waste it basically like you can kind of see as well like the thickness in the strands really varies because all of noro is um hand spun i'm pretty sure so it will be interesting to see how this like works up into an actual piece of fabric but i'm so excited this is like this is my most prized possession ever obviously since i have knit a sock and plan to knit more socks i did buy myself some sock blockers so i just ordered these from wool warehouse if you're interested these are just the knit pro ones i actually use knit pro needles but i don't buy them because they match i just bought them because they're just sock blockers so you do have to buy sock blockers per size so i'm a size five so these are a 38 to 40 and i feel like these look massive but i slipped the sock on and it literally fit it perfectly so yeah these look a bit big but they're actually pretty decently sized they're just like uh like acrylic plastic um not not much to say about these to be honest um they're just sock blockers so i mentioned this in a vlog but you may not have seen that so i went to a charity shop and just picked this book up it's just basically a huge book on just all different cable designs basically see if i can find like some of them just have yeah like just all of these different um stitches and just ways that you can basically combine different cables i love books like this for when i'm designing because you can really just kind of do what you want with them like some of them are so cool so yeah um i think this was literally like a fiver yeah from an oxfam i really love buying knitting books like this from like charity shops and second hand because there's just so much you can learn from them and like it doesn't really make a difference to me if they've been used by someone before sometimes that like books like this can get quite expensive like this book brand new is meant to be like 23 pound but i literally got this from a five for a fiver so yeah happy with this one i can't wait to design some more things but um not right away okay we are nearly at the end this next one is even more random so i've been wanting to get into like cross stitch for ages which i feel like i'm just becoming more and more of like a nan but um two of my like really good friends like we're all sort of into like crafts and like fiber arts and stuff like one of them like she's been getting like really into knitting as well which is like so much fun because i actually have like an in real life friend um however yeah we've been wanting to do cross stitch and this set was on wool warehouse for sale so when i ordered the sock blockers i was like i want to get something else to get free delivery but i don't want to buy any more i don't want to buy any more yarn just for the sake of getting free delivery like that just seems really wasteful and like goes against the whole point of like everything i've just said but i saw this so basically you get three different designs so you get this this and this obviously they're all hello kitty and yeah it's just a cross stitch so it comes with all the threads all the paper these are basically to make gift cards so i messaged them and was like if i if i buy this kit 
do you guys want one each? And they were like, hell yeah. So um, we're going to be doing Hello Kitty cross stitches, which I'm so excited for. This is really the last thing, um, but I bought this fabric from a charity shop. I don't know if you can see like up close, it's quite like thick. I'd imagine this used to be like curtains or something, but I want to make a project bag with this. So I just thought I'd quickly show it here. So yeah, I feel like that is absolutely everything. I feel like I tried to speed run that a little bit. Um, but yeah, my granny jacket is going into testing this weekend. So I'm really excited about that. Um, if you did apply, thank you so much for your interest. Um, hopefully that will be out like early December kind of time. But yeah, it's really put me on a kick to like make more things like pattern wise because i'm i knit a lot and i just don't write or release patterns for them but yeah like i said earlier if you are interested in any pieces um pattern wise then please let me know and obviously if you enjoyed this video as always feel free to subscribe and like and everything over on instagram at fashion by beth and tiktok as well and yeah, I will see you in the next one.